What's new in social and digital media? Well, a lot. Let's go through some quick ones. This week, WhatsApp reached 2 billion users. That's up from 1.5 billion just two years ago. Another one. In the constant battle for esports domination, YouTube continues to take ideas from Twitch. YouTube is implementing a clap system where viewers, subscribers can basically donate to their favorite streamers and creators. Another one. Snapchat now has its own Tinder. So SnapKit basically came out with this add-on to Snapchat. It's called Hoop. So if you have to download Hoop Extra on top of Snapchat, but you use your Snapchat credentials to log in. If it looks very similar to Tinder where you swipe left, swipe right, but there's an extra functionality to it. Basically what it sets it apart is you have to use its currency diamond sort of thing to allow you to swipe left or right. After so many right swipes, you can't swipe right anymore, so you have to earn more diamonds. Now you can earn that Snapchat currency, what they call diamonds, in a number of different ways. One is simply being active on Snapchat. One is watching a video, an ad video for some other company. One is completing a survey for another company. So it's an opportunity where, okay, there's these opportunities to talk to other people, but you have to pay for it each time. You can't just swipe right on 100 people every single day. You have to watch an ad. There's some sort of monetization behind the Snapchat. Another one. A new tool I want to put on your radar is Subly. I'm actually going to test Subly on this video right here. So if you're seeing the transcription of this video, I'm trying this new tool. It's completely free. I'm testing it out. If it doesn't work very well, you'll see in this video. But we're trying Subly for free video transcriptions. I'm a big fan of video transcriptions because it plays really well on social posts. Specifically things like Instagram posts where a lot of people may be watching an Instagram video in the bathroom on silent and the video is muted, they can still follow along with that video. I love the idea of transcribing every one of those videos. So we're going to try Subly on this video. We'll see how it works. Another one. And finally, a resume tip. So nowadays, when we have instant click access to apply for as many jobs as we want on LinkedIn and Indeed, we're finding that a lot of large companies are getting hundreds, if not thousands, of applications for a job. Because of that, jobs can, you know, these organizations can't afford for a human being to look at every single resume. So what, we, what has been used for years and years are algorithms to search, they'll scan your resume to see do you have specific keywords to match the description. If you don't have any of the keywords, your resume gets deleted before any human being looks at it. So something for you to try. Take your resume, pull up Indeed. Indeed.com, find a job description for five different companies, a job that you'd be interested in, social media, PR, marketing, what have you, pull up five of those, right? So you have the description up in front of you. Pull up a sixth tab and just Google search free word cloud. What you're looking for is a word cloud specifically. So don't pay for it, there's a bunch of free ones, pull that up. And all five of those job descriptions, copy and paste the entire description into the word cloud, all five of them, right? So you're gonna have a long piece of information in that word cloud. Hit enter on the word cloud. What's gonna happen is you know a word cloud if you've seen one. It's a big circle of words. Some words are really big, some words are really small. Whatever those big words are, those are the words that are being used in all of those job descriptions. So ask yourself, are you good at those things? Do you have those skills that are really large? If so, make sure that those words are showing up in your resume somewhere. So when a computer scans your, your resume, you'll make sure you go through. I actually heard about a really neat theory of the future of resumes this week. I had the opportunity to meet with Vala, the digital transformation evangelist for Salesforce. His theory is we don't need a resume anymore. Jobs can find, and organizations can find so much information about you online, whether that be your credentials, your publications, if you've spoken somewhere, you've done great things for organizations. All that can be found online. So his theory specifically is we won't have to use these old school sort of resumes in the future. That an organization will be able to see all of your credentials, all of your background, your experiences, your passions online because you've posted it online all, the, all these years. Kind of an interesting way to think about it, this professional exhaust sort of thing that all this information you've put out online. This information online basically creates your professional brand of you online. Interesting, what do you think? Will the resume be around in the future or will there be so much information about you online that an organization can quickly compile all of this information into a brand of who you are?